Okay, uh, this tutorial is uh, how to make a like a greeting or a birthday card. So what? So something like this. We're gonna do this one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you. These are the resources that I just uh, create. I mean, this was the the pictures and the text that that I got it to make these greeting cards here. So what I'm gonna do. To save time, I'm just going to move this over here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to assemble it, right? Okay. So now looking at the original here. Uh, okay, so I should make an offset. Offset the uh, this box. Okay. So what I do is click on the box itself and then go to your interactive contour. Okay, so in your interactive contour, look at the top portion of the of the interface here. If you click on this one, this is the contour will go to inside, and if this one is outside, and this one is to center. So what we need is to go into inside. So click on that one, and these are the steps. Okay, like how many contour steps do you want it going to the center? And this one is the distance. So I'll just show you so that okay. So if for example I want the distance to be 0.3 like this 0.3 of an inch and see this one these ones are the steps if I click on two so those are two steps three four okay but we just need uh, one step actually so click on that one and then what I'm going to as I'm going to go to arrange and then break contour apart so that I have two objects now so this is the good way so that this distance here around would be the same okay now let's start with a picture here uh, it is uh, a good idea to turn on the object a snap to object okay so that when you're when you're moving object it's going to snap to a say for example here I'll just give you a demo here and I grab this node and I go to this node see it snaps to every node which is good so you don't need to align you know because you know it snaps to the mode now if you look at this one there's another contour here going inside so I go back to my contour here I'll make it one step going inside and then I'll make it smaller say that one okay that's fine and then I go to arrange and break contour apart. So these are separate objects now. Okay. So going back to my object here, let's, let's see. Okay. So click on this one. I'll just resize it a little bit. No, that looks fine. Right. And then since it's snapping to an object, I just select this node here and then move it to the box here. same with this one okay now here now since if you look at this one it is cropped so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box okay that will crop the picture using power clip okay I also have tutorials in power clip maybe you can uh, view that so I click on the the photograph I go to effects go to power clip place inside the container and which is my container the container is the rectangle that I just did click there okay and then what I'll do I'll remove the outline and then since it's snapping to every node I can just drag this one and snaps to this end here and I'll just resize it the way I want it to be okay I'll just make it a little bit bigger and uh, okay now what do we do next now this one I know this is black right so what we're gonna do you know the plus sign in your keyboard click on this rectangular box and plus sign and then since it's snapping to every edge or node so you drag it here and it goes to the edge so you know that that's the the edge of the object okay uh, looks good and then now I'm going to get this part here okay I'm still in my snap mode 
I'm going to grab this one and then sorry not that one this one and then put it snap it to there then what I'm gonna do I know this is to top so I go to arrange order to front of page and I'll just stretch it so once you stretch it it goes to the edge it's going to snap to the edge so you're confident that it's uh, it snaps to the end point okay let's just fix this a little bit uh, okay I think it's fine okay so now going back to the original here <clears throat> okay I just uh, this one is ID the original object is not transparent so I'll just remove the transparency okay but I'll just do it again so click on this one the object and then go to your transparency tool the wine glass wine glass and then click on uniform then you can change the transparency of an object here okay okay now I bring the 65 here you can type this over I'll just bring that to top or yeah so go to arrange order to front of page there you go and then I'll just get all the text here I was typing the text and I'll just make it white okay it doesn't show up so order to front of page and also this one here arrange order top of page okay now let's see what we have right now okay now since you're you're not doing boxes anymore you can turn off your snap snap to object so you can move freely so this one okay I'll just move it there move this one here and then I already typed this one up so I'll just move it there and then this one change the font put it here okay now if you notice here there's kind of like a pink pink uh, box in there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a pink box here I'll go back to my view snap to objects again and then I'm going to make this pink okay here pink and I would remove the outline and then I'm going to put this one behind so I go to arrange order okay to back of page there so now it's you can still see you can still see it okay now it looks almost the same now now how did I did do this one here so first I made it pink Right. okay let's fix this first now you know why this one is in there so we go to arrange order to back of page oh. or arrange order to back of page so what I'm going to do I'm going to make a white box just to mask this off so I'll make a white box there okay, make that white remove the outline okay I'm going to put this behind arrange order to back of page but again since it's back to page so I'll make this to back of page too order to back of page there you go and I can remove the outline there okay I also remove this outline here okay so this one uh, if you go to your this uh, interactive mesh tool it goes like this so what I'll do I'll get this portion here and then I go to uh, red okay but if I click on this one it makes it red right so if you want a different color that's fine so I'll make this one highlight this one and let's say I wanted to make it orangey and this one say red and then this one make it orangey again just to make colors yeah so that's it we just created a greeting card